بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد Today we're going to reflect upon the second juz of the Quran Kareem. The Imam, the first Imam, he started reciting from the second quarter of the second juz. The first quarter was recited yesterday, and the third juz started today. And all of Surah Al Baqarah was completed today, and Surah Al Imran started as well. In the opening verses of the second juz, Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He mentions how the direction of the Qibla changed. Allah says, سَيَقُولُ السُّفَهَاءُ مِنَ النَّاسِ مَا وَاللَّهُمْ عَنْ قِبْلَتِهِمُ الَّتِي كَانُوا عَلَيْهَا قُلْ لِلَّهِ الْمَشْرِقُ وَالْمَغْرِبُ يَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, that soon the foolish people will come and ask this question that what has changed the Muslims in their direction of the Qibla. So to understand this verse, we need to understand that at the beginning the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he used to perform Salat, then it was towards Baytul Maqdis. So you have Makkah Mukarramah here and towards the north here, Madinatul Munawwara, and then towards the north of that is Sham, Palestine, by Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa is. So when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Makkatul Mukarrama used to pray Salat, he used to pray Salat facing that wall of the Kaaba, that by facing that wall of the Kaaba, he's facing the Kaaba, and he's also facing Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. <coughs> but when he migrated, to Madinatul Munawwara, that's not possible anymore now because Medina was in the middle and he needs to face Al Masjid Al Aqsa towards the north and the Kaaba is towards Mecca, is towards the south. It wasn't possible anymore. So now the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he had this desire in his heart that I wish Allah would change the direction of the Qibla from Al Masjid Al Aqsa to Al Masjid Al Haram, Kaaba. For approximately 16 to 17 months, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam continued to pray Salat towards Al Masjid Al Aqsa. But he always wanted to this hukum and command to change. So he used to look up towards the heavens in anticipation that Jibreel Alayhi Salam will soon come and say to me that now face. Al Masjid Al Haram, the Kaaba. And Allah says this as well in this in uh, in this juz. Qad nara taqalluba wajhika fi sama. That we see you facing towards the heavens, waiting for Jibrail alayhi salam to come with this hukum. Fala nuwalliyan naka qiblatan tarzaha. Soon we shall change the direction of the Kaaba, which will please you. He wanted the direction of the Kaaba to be. Uh, direction of the Qibla to be the Kaaba because the Kaaba was built by Ibrahim alayhi salam and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam's lineage all the way goes back to Prophet Ismail and then to Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam he went to a place where now Masjid Qiblatain is to lead a Salatul Janaza. After the Salatul Janaza it was Zuhr time so the people said, wait, pray Zuhr with us. It will be an honor. And then you can return back to Masjid al-Nabawi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam accepted. And with the Sahaba ikram, he was praying Zuhr Salat. He led the Sahaba ikram facing towards al-Masjid al-Aqsa because that was the command at that time. Two rakats. And from the third rakat, whilst the Prophet was in Salat, Jibreel alayhi salam came with wahi and revelation. So from this we learn that Jibreel alayhi salam when he used to come with revelation, there was no timetable. It wasn't like, you know, four days a week you work and the rest as a prophet you rest or daytime six hours or this time, that time. Any time Jibreel alayhi salam can come and the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam had to be ready for this. He was in salat and Jibreel alayhi salam came and the verses were 
that wherever you are now, doesn't matter, you need to face in salat towards the Kaaba. فَوَلِّ وَجْهَكَ شَطْرَ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ وَحَيْثُ مَا كُنْتُ Wherever you are in this world, you need to face towards the Kaaba. And that's why it's compulsory that we face the direction of the Kaaba in salat. So now the second two rakats, the third and the fourth rakat of Salatul Zahr, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam straight away, he turned in such a manner that now he was facing with the Sahaba Ikram towards the Kaaba. And he performed the third and fourth rakat towards the Kaaba. After the Salat finished, then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he returned back to Masjid al-Nabawi and then Asr Salat he performed the Asr Salat fully, all the four rakats towards the Kaaba. And this news reached the people of Quba by Fajr time. So the first Salat the people of Quba prayed towards Al Masjid Al Haram was Fajr Salat. So that's why in narration, some narrations it mentions that the first Salat was Zahar, some narrations it mentions that the first Salat was. Asr, some mentioned it was Fajr, but this is how we combine between the narrations, as I explained. So, wherever we are, we have to perform Salat towards the Kaaba. One more verse I'll, I'll uh, uh, mention and then inshallah we'll conclude. Now, this Juz mentions about Siyam fasting. You might have heard and you've heard from the member on Jumu'ah Bayans, Ya Yuhalladheen Amanu, Kutiba Alaykum Siyamu. Those verses were recited. The whole ruku, which is dedicated to fasting and i'tikaf and what to do during this month, was all men, is all mentioned in the second juz. Also about qital, this is mentioned in the second juz. Many masail of talaq, many many at talaq marratan fa imsakum bi mahrum maruf aw tasrihum bi hasan. Many many masail of talaq and many masail of iddat, the waiting period that the women have to. Uh, act upon after being divorced. These masail are mentioned. Well, if there is a child who should breastfeed the child, all of these kind of marital and parent-child relation uh, masail are mentioned in Al Juz Al Thani. But one verse that the Imam recited or is in Juz Al Thani is that Ya Yuhalladina Amanud Khuluf is Silmi Kafa. Abdullah bin Salam radiyallahu ta'ala an. He was a learned Jew, Yehudi, Rabbi, and he accepted Islam. He accepted Islam. When he accepted Islam, then he compared both religions and he thought that maybe I can still keep some of, some of my Jewish practices. Where in the Quran and Hadith, it doesn't say that I can't do, then, I, then, then I'm going to carry on doing that. And if it says in the Quran and Hadith, I can't do, then I won't do it anymore. So he tried to combine between Judaism and Christianity and keep some of the Jewish practices. So Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, he revealed these verses. And he said, Ya yuhalladheena amanu, O Muslims, udkhulu, enter, fissilmi into Islam, kaffa, completely. Don't pick and choose. I like this part of Islam, I like that part of Islam. I don't really like this part. I don't understand, so I'm not going to act. You can't pick and choose. Once you say, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallama, you are a Muslim. Once you sign the contract with your employee or employer, then you're not going to say to your employer, I don't like this part of my job. I'm not going to do it. I like this part of my job. I'm going to do this. Can you do that? <laughs> you basically accept everything in the agreement, in the contract. So your contract with Allah is the contract of Quran, the contract of Sunnah. Enter into Islam fully, Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says. <coughs> Just to finish off, I met uh, a, a general once in the army, he was a chief, he, was a, he, was, he, used, to work, he used to work in Nigeria. Uh, in Nigeria, Nigeria is kind of divided between Muslims and Christians. So he worked in both parts and he said, I said to him, what, what, what's your religion? He said, I'm a Christlim. I said, I've never heard of this before. What is Christlim? He said, I, am, I, 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 I looked at the Christians and I saw many things good within them. So I took all the good and I am Chris, meaning Christianity. And Lim from Muslim. I saw many things good in Muslims and I took all those and I have my own religion. I am a Christlim. 
So there is no such thing. Allah Tabarak wa Taala says, "Udhulu fi silmi kafa." Enter into Islam fully. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala keep us steadfast upon His Deen. May Allah Tabarak wa Taala make the remaining days of fasting easy for us. Wa akhiru dawana alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Subhan.